Hello, welcome to Kinchin Raceway. I just wanted to have a look back at a recent practice day we had here on our mini stroke pit bikes. Wasn't gonna make a YouTube video at the time, uh, but ended up with so much real good footage with a real good bunch of people who were there on the day. Lots of people asking me for footage, so I thought I'd wrap some of the best of it up into a YouTube. So it's not gonna be the usual thing we do with interviews and all that stuff, just lots of on-board footage, a few photos. So yeah, if you thinking about going to Kinchin Raceway, if you're thinking about getting into pit bikes, come and have a, have a watch and see what it's all about. So on the day we had, I think it was three or four first time novice riders, which is brilliant to see. Um, this is Christy. I can't tell you how hard it is riding a pit bike for the first time. The tiny front wheel feels like it's going to wash out on you all the time, but she's doing brilliantly. You just need to build up your confidence and get confident in what that front wheel's doing. But yeah, I think she loved it. Um, brilliant day for it. Track was a little bit damp to start with, but soon dried out. Not quite sure what I'm doing with Kate here. Looking across at Kate, I think she's riding around with Christy, showing Christy the lines. So here you've got Jodie Fieldhouse, Kate right at the front, and then Christy in the middle. So. Jodie and Kate were just showing Christy some of the lines around the track, um, you know, help build her confidence up. Difficult to see here, but my foot slips off a foot peg, that's what I'm looking down at. So that allowed these uh, faster guys and girls to come through. They're way quicker than me anyway, so that's Will from SWB Suspension, and then Jodie with the pink levers behind him. So yeah, I'm just trying to tag on. Uh, try and pick up a few tips if I can. track started to dry, there's a few puddles but it really wasn't a problem, lovely lovely day for it, it was really mild as well. So this is Kate coming up behind me, I think I'm behind Nathan, so I'm giving him a bit of space, another first time rider, uh, great to see. So yeah, just giving him a little bit of space, and then Jodie slipping up the inside. It's great to have riders of all abilities able to ride together. You know, the faster guys and girls are more than capable of getting past.
so I'm just going up the inside of Kate here, just narrowly avoiding the puddles. It's a dry line, it was more than good enough. It's interesting, I started off the day really quick and then started to tire, and then towards the end, Kate then started to come good. She's riding real good, knee down everywhere, confident, and then I was struggling to keep up. So yeah, it, it, it was a bit of a tale of uh, two halves today. Driving up the inside of me, but my CRF, Honda CRF, is quite a bit quicker than his Chinese pit bike, so I was able to use the power to get back up the inside of him. He gave me a little cheeky look across. Um, I think it's real frustrating for the guys who are cl clearly quicker than me, but they're on the Chinese bikes. My bike's quite a bit quicker, so it can be quite difficult for them to get past. Although, as you'll see, um, I think Jody and Will come through in a minute, and uh, yeah, it didn't take that long, uh, Will long to get back in front of me. behind me here keeping me honest I went a little bit wide there um, yeah maybe a different line and then I think that's Jody coming through and then I've just overtaken Nathan and this is the same um, sort of time on the track actually but taking one ball from Kate's uh, on board camera so you can see what's going on there so Robin's just gone up the inside of Kate Now Kate's just going past Nathan. You can see the stunning setting that Kincham is. Lovely place, lovely, lovely place to ride around. Kate nearly went for the inside of, of Rob, up the inside of Robin there, but I think she changed her mind in the last minute. So he has been riding, but yeah, not for the last two years. So, and the first time on an outdoor track, he's only ridden on indoor go kart tracks. So yeah, he done really good as well. I think it was a bit of an eye opener for him riding on an outdoor track where the speeds are much, much higher. Thumbs up here. At this point, towards the end of the day, Kate was riding ridiculously well, so smooth. I said earlier, knee down everywhere, plenty of lean, really confident. Yeah, I think she didn't really want the day to end. In fact, none of us did. It was such a great day. The people, the group of people we were riding with all day, just fantastic. Yeah, one of the best afternoons pit bike we've had, uh, without a shadow of a doubt.
around behind me here. And this is one of the things about pit biking. It doesn't matter if you're young, old, boy, girl, it doesn't make any difference. It's a complete leveller. Uh, it's fantastic to see. So good to see. No problem. This is all a little bit tight. I went for the overtake on K and I was going to do the young lad at the same time, but I decided better of it. I didn't really want to be responsible for uh, wiping him out. But look out here for the water that I splash up. I didn't realise, obviously, because I'm in front, but I've splashed it over Kate's visor and she now cannot see where she's going. So she's kind of bailed out of this at the last minute and the guy who's just gone down pit lane was about to overtake her. So I think that was uh, yeah, pretty close. She could, where she could see where she was going, she could make the corner. He was about to go around the outside of her, yeah. You right? done mixed way with the checkered flag it's time now to pack up and go home what a brilliant afternoon's riding can't wait to do it again thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, we'll see you on the next one